All right, so I've been really into lately working on making my toolbox like a pretty efficient place. And one of the things that is difficult to kind of get the packaging right is sockets. So I've been using um, these type of socket rails forever. Um, these are the cheap ones from Harbor Freight. You can actually get better ones um, different places. Um, but I'm just kind of sick of them, so specifically this style, because, you know, if, if, there's, if it's wet, you get kind of rust um, built up. These things break, they're sharp, the rail is sharp, um, they pop off when they rattle on the toolbox, you know, not super easy to get out. Sometimes they get stuck. I'm just over them. Um, so I did find something new um, to me, which is these guys right here, and they're pretty cool. I still have to solve one problem where they uh, bounce out. Um, but for my purposes, they're great because um, right now what I'm doing with this is I have a, um, this is a metric uh, 3 8 version, um, but I'm just packing it up with you know, all the sizes I need. I'm using SAE and metric. But what I did find is that when I'm driving around, like, you know, one does, uh, what happens is these guys have a tendency to break. So I broke off both these two ends. Um, these guys right here, the small guys. And some of that's my fault because I'm using the wrong size. So you can see that I actually had to file this down to fit a smaller size socket on there. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this out of metal so that it can withstand that. Um, and I can also get away with kind of scrunching things up a little bit. So you can see that how close these guys are together. Um, that's how narrow I'll make uh, my housing. I'll make a handle that can kind of fold down or something. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited to make a better system than that. All right, so I got this kind of marked out. Um, I basically tightened up the spacing on these smaller um, sockets because I know exactly the sockets I'm using. And I want to keep this as kind of compact as possible. Also shorten up some of the spacing. So the overall spacing is about three and a half um, by 12 and a half. And this is kind of the scrap piece that I had. Um, I used kind of what I could, and then I'm using this for this. Um, and then I kind of copy the spacing. Um, it starts out like by an inch and a quarter and it goes next down to uh, five eighths. You know, you can lay out your own sockets too if you're gonna do this at home. That's probably what I would lay out is kind of what sockets you want in here and make this custom for your yourself because you know, you're making your own thing. Now that I got this all laid out, I'm gonna go ahead and just start drilling. These are my starting points. Um, and what these are, are 1024 by 12 and a half inch um, uh, screws. And basically I'm just gonna drill all these for these holes. I already see that I'm gonna have some problems with bolts like, or uh, sockets like this. It has a really tiny um, area here. And what I'm gonna do for this guy is I'm gonna have to sharpen this guy up. It's kind of a weird special socket for this quarter inch guy. These other ones will fit perfectly fine here um, and for the bigger ones they're going to be super sloppy to start out with um, but I plan on basically figuring out what size tubing I can get to kind of grow these guys for the big sockets and I'll shave it at least for this guy um, yeah, the other ones will probably be okay most other ones this one will be good shave too but most will be good and the ones that aren't I will um, kind of pre-install the nut here and then kind of grind it in, in shape so, time to do some drawing. Here I did decide to drill some holes for a handle, but it didn't really end up working out. Let me know if you have a good idea for a handle for this project.
All right, so let's see how this goes. Let's start clamped in at vice. Before I tightened all the screws, I wanted to do the file fit on some of the small sockets that wouldn't fit over the 1024 screws. This was more time consuming than I thought, so I decided to wrap some tape around the screw so I could neck it down with the drill and the grinder. doesn't sit all the way down. Um, I'm okay with that. Some people might not be, but I'm totally cool with that. It's not going to rattle around a ton. So I repeated the same process of necking down a couple screws for two more sockets that I had that were undersized. Then I was able to populate the socket organizer. One problem I did run into is two of my screws were too close together. Um, so I kind of had to re-drill one of the holes and I actually took one out because um, that way it, the exact amount of screws matched the exact number of sockets. So it's another, another way to stay organized so that when I put all my sockets away, I know that I found all of them. Like I said, I did try to make a handle. I tried making it out of a piece of bent bailing wire. It was pretty clunky and I decided I didn't need one, but let me know if you have any good ideas for a handle. One additional step I took was to paint my SAE sockets, just to separate the SAE from the metric sockets. Get a very compact thing you can fit in a pretty small toolbox. Compact stuff up, hopefully it doesn't kind of flip over. Um, but yeah, that's where she's going to go, and this guy still fits on top. Pretty stinking cool. So this socket holder's been in my daily driver toolbox for a couple weeks now. It does rattle a bit, um, but I took it out of the toolbox, and none of the sockets had come out. I'm just happy with the packaging and how it turned out. Let me know if you have any cool ideas for tools uh, or if you're going to make something like this yourself. Uh, thanks for watching and like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content.